Welcome to Lippert's First RV Owner School! One of the biggest issues that RVers face when buying a new RV is just getting things fixed on it. We all know that things go wrong. And today, we're in Mishawaka, Indiana at the Lipper RV Technical Institute, and we're doing the first RV owner school. So it's very exciting because this is open to the public, and we're gonna be going through courses about maintaining and fixing our rig. All right, guys, I'm here with Ryan and Craig from Lipper. And um, they're kind of like part of the brains behind the RV Owner School. So if you guys would mind just kind of sharing what the RV Owner School is and who it's for. Yeah, sure. So we're here at the Lippert Technical Institute, which you said the brains the operation. That's truly the, the superstars of the show here. Um, but this is an idea that was born out of Lippert Scouts. Uh, so this was an idea about two years ago that came up and said, hey, we want to get into your technical institute and receive some hands-on training. And we said, all right, well, what, what does that look like? And, over the next year and a half, we went to planning, and now here we are. Yeah, because in the past, our this is our awesome Tech Institute facility. There's so much here, and this has only been available to technicians for training. So for many years, we've been doing that, and so now it's really cool that we get to open it up to the public, and now people can come and take advantage of all the resources here, all of our trainers, and really learn about their, their coaches and all the components and systems that are on their rig. Well, what's really cool is we came here in November, I think, when uh, we first started working with Lippert and we got a whole tour of this facility and learned what you guys are doing for RV Techs. And what was cool was coming here today and like actually getting to be a student here myself. So um, tell me a little bit about, like I know you guys have a few classes going on today. What, what were all the classes that you're planning on offering? Yeah, certainly. Well, we went with a choose your own adventure style. So in the morning, you've got a range of classes that you can elect to take and participate in. So everything from leveling, slide outs, <laughs> Axles, how, how to power your RV, all things in between. And then in the afternoon, it's, it follows a similar format of just more classes, right? Because, you know, let's face it, Lippert has a lot of components and a lot of brands under its uh, wing. So we just want to make sure we're offering as much as much as we can. Yeah. But you could come multiple times to the school, especially for the one day option, and take different classes each time. Right. So that's why it's the, the Choose Your Adventure works well, is because yeah. you, can, you can get different stuff if you come multiple times. Right. So you mentioned the one-day option. Do you, you have other options for like how, how long you're here at the school? Yeah, so we have one-day options and we have three-day options. And um, we haven't done one to the public yet for three-day. We ran our pilot school, which was just open to some Lippert Scouts, was a three-day school option. And it's basically the same thing, just blown out a little bit longer, okay. um, more meals. Uh, you stay here in town, um, but there's obviously more class options the longer you stay. You know, it's hard. You can't learn everything about your RV in right. one day, as <laughs> awesome as that would be. Right. And so three days just gives you a little bit more opportunity to learn about more systems and components. Okay, gotcha. Now tell me a little bit more. How does like the classes you're doing here for RV owners um, compare against what you're, you were typically doing for people who are trying to become like RV techs or who are currently RV techs? Yeah, I would say with RV owner school, we had to take an approach of, you know, these are folks who aren't necessarily coming for training to renew any of their credits or go towards any sort of certifications. But, you know, in our minds, the more people know about the systems and components on their rigs, the better equipped they are to not only help themselves, but also help a neighbor. Whereas with the technicians coming in, a lot of that's mandated and a lot of that was just because their dealer you know, asked them to, to come here. So um, is it the full blown, you know, totally 100% in-depth technician training? Not quite, um, but we're hearing from seasoned RVers that they're learning new things and they've been doing it for over 20 years. So Yeah, and some of the content too is tailored to the people in the class, right? Because they open it up to discussion and questions at different times. So people coming in with different levels of um, experience and knowledge or maybe they've had um, something come up in the past they can bring that to the class and, and have it addressed yeah. as well and like Craig said a, a big point of this too is you know when you're in campgrounds and whatnot people are so neighborly and taking yeah. care of each other there's definitely a community aspect to RV and so just being able to equip people to help each other out too, right because right? people are always asking questions when they're out on the road yeah. and in the campground like hey my slide outs doing this funky thing do you know anything about that well, yeah, I do actually, you know, yeah. like it's nice to be able to step in. And as far as the future of the school, um, you know, we're going to be finishing out the rest of this year. We've got classes all the way up until September. And then from there, we're going to take all the feedback that we're hearing 
and just relaunch the program next year as well. So. That's awesome. Yeah, because for now, the <clears throat> all of the training is happening here at our Tech Institute facility in Mishawaka, Indiana. Okay. And someday, maybe there's a hopes of how could this happen other places, or what's the evolution of the yeah. program? Um, and so, yeah, we have to get that feedback to know what the next best steps are gotcha. and it'll grow and evolve well thank you guys so much i'll have the link for where you guys can go to sign up for that down in the description below but thank you so much ryan yeah. and craig for telling yeah. us a little bit more thanks for being here and yeah definitely check out the rv owner school to kind of like learn how to service your rv yourself a little bit So I just finished up the first class of today, which was axles, brakes, and suspension. And I took that class because I just found that it was going to be very beneficial since all that is like the foundation of your rig. And it's so important, again, for safety, but also just keeping things smooth inside the coach and making sure it's not bouncing around so much. It was really good because we learned all the maintenance stuff, how to pack your bearing, as well as how to solve problems when things arise, like the proper place to jack it up to be able to remove the wheel or to access stuff underneath and even stuff as simple as knowing how to get serial numbers and and other types of numbers on your axles so that when you do have an issue you can call in and you have all the information and you know exactly where it is So my first class was powering your RV and we learned kind of about all the electrical components. So we learned, we talked about some of the different power sources that come into your RV. So you have shore power generator, solar, and, and then your batteries, which your batteries are really like power storage. And so we learned um, kind of about like how to hook up batteries, um, the basics of kind of your battery setup, how to check to see if your battery um, batteries are still in good condition or if the life is starting to go down in them. So we learned a lot of valuable things. I was going in thinking uh, that it was going to be way over my head because I know really nothing about electrical. And I actually really enjoyed the class because you kind of like dumbed it down so that it, you could understand the basics of it and then we kind of like expanded from there and so obviously there's still a lot that I could learn with this but it's like this is the, this was perfect for me to kind of get that base level of understanding and then you know if I want to pursue it more I can and then my second class that I'm about to go do is about leveling systems which I'm very excited to learn about that because sometimes we struggle with our leveling system and I really do think it's a lot of it is user error so I'm looking forward to learning how to use the auto level system correctly and just like kind of all the components for maintenance and stuff, so I'm gonna head to that class now. So the second class I took today was all about leveling systems, and a big chunk of the class in the beginning was about hydraulic leveling, which we don't have on our rig right now, um, but it was interesting to learn all about it because there are so many like parts to it and understanding how like the hydraulic fluid runs through and how to like diagnose and fix issues. So uh, honestly like was kind of glad that we had electric after that because it just seemed like very in depth. But um, it was cool to learn about that. But then we learned about electric leveling, learned some of the things that we were definitely doing wrong with doing our auto leveling, buttons that we weren't pushing right, um, and, and how you can kind of do like manual resets if you're finding that the auto leveling isn't working. So I was really excited to learn that because we, like I said earlier, we have been having some issues and I think now I have the fix for it. So overall it was really nice. And again, we got to go to an actual chassis like what's behind me and play, you know actually play around with the leveling systems and see kind of with a stripped away view, like how they operate. So my second class was all about slide outs. And we talked both about in wall and through frame slide outs. So there, there is a big difference and we can probably explain that in another video. But what really stuck out to me is how much slides have advanced over the last couple years. Because it used to be that slide walls were just like a huge weak point. The nice thing is, is that they're becoming easier to maintain and it's becoming more where if you maintain it, you just won't have issues like you've had in the past. So of course there's always unique situations where you still will have issues, but they're really starting to iron through it and work through it. And it's really exciting because again, slide walls are the one thing that we always hear about. And so, you know, to have those issues work through will be really, really cool. 
All right, so we just finished up at the RV owner school and I feel like I learned so much in one day here. Will and I kind of split up our classes so that we could try to maximize how much we learned. So I did the class on powering your RV and then the leveling class. So I did the axles, brake suspension and all that. And then that was the first half. And then the second half I did everything slide outs, both uh, in wall and through frame. So I think some of the takeaways was I really like the level of education that they did. It's perfect for RV owners. It's not too technical that your brain is melting and you're kind of getting lost. You know, there were some things that were a little bit more technical, but then there was also really basic things. So they right. kind of appeal to like, if you're an RV owner and you hardly know anything, you'll get the value. And then if you're actually a little bit more advanced, you'll still get some value. And you know, the, the nice thing is, is they really customize it for your RV. So the classes range anywhere from four people to probably 20. They would ask, you know, who has a RV this year to this year? Who has this type of leveling system? And if you didn't have electric leveling, they weren't gonna, you know, they weren't gonna waste the time on it and focus on what you had. And another thing I really love is the fact that they're holding it here at Lippert's Technical Institute because they already have an amazing setup. Yeah. They have actual like fifth wheel chassis here, tons of electrical circuit boards that you can play with. Yep. And so you start off a lot of the classes kind of like sit down learning, you know, with the instructor talking to you, but then you quickly move out and you're doing hands-on learning. Um, you're like actually seeing things in action, which for me, I learn a lot better that way. And I think a lot of people do. And so it's a, it's a more of a solidified way of like remembering this once you're done here yep. and you go back to your rig, how to like take what you learn and really implement it. And I don't know if every class that they do will be based around a rally, but it was really convenient for us because we were actually already in Elkhart here for the Alliance right. rally. And I I think the grand design rally is happening around here really soon yeah too, that right? was in michigan i believe but it was right around the area yeah. and it was just last week yes yeah, because so. quite honestly like not everyone's coming to elkhart as a vacation spot <laughs> so if you're already here and then you can hit this while you're here that's super convenient so that was really smart but they'll have they'll have more of these classes going on at least probably like once every month or every couple months we'll have the link to um the website down below where you can go and look at all the different class dates and times and everything and schedule one that works for you um, but just we want to say thank you to Lipper yes. so much for having us here for the first actual public RV owner school we really enjoyed ourselves and learned a lot we did and um, yeah we might even check out another one especially if they have some other like classes right I, I definitely would thank you guys so much for watching again we do videos like this every Wednesday and then we do our vlog style every Sunday so if you found this video useful and enjoyed it make sure to smash the thumbs up button and leave a comment down below let us know if you're interested in coming to this or if you've ever been to another school like the NRVTA or anything of those sorts. Also make sure to uh, subscribe and we'll catch you next time. Bye guys! See ya!